What's going on, everybody? Chatty Bobby 1130. I ain't battle rap blogged in a motherfucking minute or two. But it's been a little bit stale. All I've been seeing, I missed the royalty loyalty event with Queen of the Ring and Smack. I'm glad I didn't pay the $60. I had to work anyway. But twerk and ab didn't even happen. The Goonies done split up. You know, uh, Jack Boy and Ace Amin and uh, Cuban done left the Goonies. Gluizzi's, my dog Gluizzi's the only one left over there. Hopefully he decides to leave too. Twerk's done fucked up the plug for everything. I mean, he's done, he has got his car shot up the last time he was at the event and he didn't battle. I just don't understand what's going on in battle rap. But anyway, a white dude said the N word and then retired the next day because his dumb ass was stupid enough to say the N word in a battle and got his bitch ass punched in the face for it. Like, what is going on? You know what I mean? They released Soul Con and Disaster on the King of the Dot channel. They edited the battle. It's still six months long. Soul Con had fucking terrible. Terrible. Worst return yet. Horrible. Um, but this ain't about any of that shit. There's, been, there's an app event coming up this weekend. There's 64 battles on it. A lot of good matchups. But it's going to come out on the app, so nobody's really going to give a shit. We're going to blog about it, and it's, I mean, it'll be on Twitter for a little bit, and then nobody will remember. So there, that's the battle rap now. Since you, Cassidy came out against Arsenal, and it looks so horrible. Why did I say that Cassidy almost, didn't get killed in that battle? He got smoked in that battle. I don't know what the fuck I was smoking. The same shit I guess he was smoking when he was making them beats. He's been on, He's been making beats that sound like, 2005 sound click beats and he I don't know what's going on battle rap done fucking shit the bed I mean we got an RBE event coming out February 29th cause it is a leap year motherfuckers happy new years okay leap year and on February the 29th we got an announcement today that 40 Cal from Dipset fame and from Fight Club fame is making his return to battle ill motherfucking will Yak town in this bitch. Sorry about that. I got an Impala. Anybody that owns an Impala knows that it makes that motherfucking rattling sound in your air conditioner. Every once again, it just it is what it is. Sound like we're invading Normandy. Okay, I didn't want to have to talk over that. I'm behind a car that's a Toyota Prius. It's got a Trump sticker on it. I didn't know Trump supporters drove Priuses, but you learn something every day. What were we were talking about? Returning 40 cal and ill will on an RBE card, February the 29th. Uh, you know, I guess they're going to call it RBE Leaps and Bounds because it's Leap Year. I don't know what they're calling it. But I'm going to be honest, man. I'm a huge fan of 40 Cal. His music, his battles back in the day. Anytime I hear an OG's coming back, it doesn't excite me. I'm a huge fan of 40 Cal. I want him to be awesome, I want him to be amazing. I do feel like of all the people coming back, I really feel like with Mills and Los and Soul Con and Mook, well, not Mook, Mook don't care. He's been around. Soul Con hadn't battled in a long time. Um, who else? Uh, you know, everybody that's came back, Cassidy, uh, 30 pages of rhymes in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that's came back, I do feel like 40 Cal has the best shot of being dope. But who knows, man? And you're putting him in the ring with ill will? Bro, look. This is the problem that with the, with the guys that are returning. They come back and they give them one of the goats when they come back. Instead of them coming back and battling like a, a mid-tier guy that's still dope. You put him up against Ill Will, who is arguably champion of the year in 2019. On RBE, his home stage in Atlanta. Well, Atlanta's not his hometown, but that's where RBE's home is, I guess, because all the fighting in, in New York done got him kicked. Everybody kicked out of fucking New York. But it's, it's I'm, I'm going to get the pay-per-view for sure. Um, I hope 40 Cal comes back and does amazing. Um, but you're... You know, I mean, he's going up against the odds with this because coming back, I mean, he hasn't battled in 10 plus years, man. I mean, he hadn't battled since Fight Club, which was like mid 2000s, early to mid 2000s. But when you listen to 40 Cal's 
songs, he's got that style and cadence that, you know, I mean, and I know he keeps in tune with the culture, but guys, Cassidy said the same thing, and Cassidy did the same thing. So I don't know, but I do know that Cassidy is fucking delusional. And I do know that 40 Cal is not a delusional dude. You can tell by listening to him, to him talk about battling, he's realistic, but see, then again, dude, Soulcon was too in the, in, in the Math Hoffa stuff. And look how god awful he did. His was, I can't even describe how terrible he was. And it's on YouTube for everybody to see now. I don't know what happened to him. He was just, anyway, he was just tree hugger. He was a tree hugger for three rounds. I was just like, why did you come back to battle for? So, um, yeah, we, we, we had, I don't know. We'll see what happens, man. It's been a fucking crazy ass month and a half or two in battle rap. Like I said, the white dude coming out, don't even know his name. He dropped the N bomb in a battle, got punched in the face. Could have been way worse. Could have got shot in the face. Could have got stomped out. They, they saved him by not getting, letting him get his ass whipped by everybody in there. Then he comes on, on social media. I still don't know his name. And he retired. I was like, retired? You didn't even play. Like, when, I, I don't, that'd be like fucking me going and doing a trial for the NBA and getting cut and be like, well, I retire. You know, I mean, I just retired, dude. You know, I'm just going to hang it up. You can't retire if don't nobody fucking know who you are. Stop. And I don't care what anybody says. There wasn't no, he ain't have no excuse to say the N word, bro. I'm sorry. You just don't, there's no excuse for a white dude to say it. There's just not, bro. There's just not. There's just not. Just stop. What, what would, stop. Stop it. And um, as far as the, go the, the, the Goonies, I think the Goonies splitting up is amazing because they've been what's kind of fucking battle wrap up the last few months. If y'all really want to break it down. Between Jack Boy shit in the bed on main stages, Ace not shit in the bed, but kind of dropping the ball, Twerk just doing all kinds of fuckery. I mean, you still got Ryda, I guess, but at this point, with them three leaving, I don't see why anybody else is going to stay. It just doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? Shot South Park. But we're back, god dang it. Chatty Bobby, we're back. I don't know when we're going to do another blog, but I'm back to battle rap blogging, damn it. I've, my holiday season was super busy. I'm working on new music. I'm playing Madden all the, uh, the motherfucking time. But we're back, dude. Let's go. What do y'all think? Comment.